This is for 2.2 number 6, and it's where you have to graph when you're subtracting two different functions. And so this can be a little crazy. I just printed off the graph real quick of, I think this is number 6, or it's the example for number 6. But first you need to find the domain of the intersection. So the domain of f, remember when you're finding domain, you're looking at the x's. So f goes from 0 to 11. So here's the domain of f, 0 to 11. The domain of g goes from 3 to 12. So it goes from 3 to 12. So the intersection, okay, is going to be, everything, both sets at least go from 3 to 11. Okay, so notice that the 11 is inside here. The 3 is inside here. So I'm only going to use the values from 3 to 11. Okay, so what I might first do is I'm going to find g of 3 and I'm going to find f of 3. So if I look at g of 3, g of 3 is the blue line. So go to 3 and notice when I plug in 3, out pops what, 2? So g of 3 is 2. f of 3 is the red line. So when I do that, it's way up here at 3. So when I plug in 3, right here out pops 3. So notice that therefore g of 3 minus f of 3, because that's what we want to do is g minus f. Well, g of 3 was 2, f of 3 is 3, so that gives me negative 1. So what I have is the point 3, negative 1. That's one of the points on my graph. Now, quickly, I'm going to look up here at my screen and look at this. When I look at the graphs chosen, I know quickly it has to be this one because that's the only one that even has one at the point 3, negative 1. Nothing even here is. That's like, what, 3, 0, 3, 0. And go. It has to be that one, so I would probably just quit and go on. You can see I, it looks like I checked that one already because I did this one just for fun. If you're not sure for sure, you know, do another one. Um, so, but that's that's basically the way you're going to do it. You can pick anything in this domain. So if I wanted it to do 11, I would find g of 11 first. Okay, so go over here. G of 11. G is the blue line. So when I go over here to 11 and I go straight up, that hits that point, which is 3. So g of 11 is 3. f of 11. So again, we're going to go to 11. We're going to go to the red line and go straight across, and it looks like it's 2. That's weird. So remember, we're taking g minus f. So 3 minus 2 is 1. So we're going to have the point 11, 1. So again, I'm going to go up here on this graph, and I'm going to look. Do any of them have 11, 1? And you can see right there I've got the point 11, 1. So it has to be that one. Um, those that have these extra little points, they're not even in the domain anymore. So, I mean, really, my options, you just have to find a couple points that work, and you can do process of elimination.